Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the sum of the interior angles in a parallelogram. So here we have a parallelogram, and we're told that the bottom left interior angle is 60 degrees. And we're asked to find the sum of all of the interior angles. So you might start off by saying, OK, these two lines are parallel, and thus we can think of this as a transversal. And some simple geometry tells us that this interior angle must be 120 degrees, since these two angles must add up to 180. And from there, it would be hard to show that this one would also be 120 degrees, and this one would also be 60 degrees. You could add it all up, 60 plus 60 plus 120 plus 120, and you would get 360 degrees. And you might think to yourself, oh, that's, that's a really nice number. That must have something to do with the fact that 60 is also a nice number. But in fact, the sum of the interior angles of a parallelogram will always be 360 degrees, and it's not particularly difficult to show it. We can even generalize further and make the claim that the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral will always be 360 degrees. So anytime you're given one of the interior angles of a quadrilateral, it doesn't even matter if it's rhombus, trapezoid, square. As long as it has four sides, the sum of the interior angles will always be 360 degrees. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the sum of the interior angles of a parallelogram.